Diddy, diddy, diddy. So, as y'all see here, those who know, they already know. That tattoo right there, that's Ashley Down Tour. You know, Diddy dibbles and dabbles in the uh, in Haitian voodoo. And as you see there, he got Don Tour tatted on his back. Now, a lot of people may not really know about Don Tour and how she get down. You know, first of all, Ashley Don Tour typically protects women and children. You know, uh, my grandmother who uh, practiced Puerto Rican voodoo, who's from Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, she leaned on Ashley Don Tour a lot. She moved to the to the uh, states with eleven kids, raised them all by herself without even knowing English. You feel me? Without even knowing English, and Ashley Don Tour was a big part of that to the point where, even when my grandmother went into the church for the sake of blending in with community and things like that, she never stopped praying to Don Tour. She never stopped. You know, even to this day, my grandmother is going on 86 years old. She still prayed to Don Tour. You know, and this is a woman who taught me so much in my life. Um, dealing with the practice and things like that uh, with Puerto Rican voodoo as the base. You know what I'm saying? And so understand like. Esley Don Tour don't play that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know who, you know, was. The Mambos and Wungans that was in Diddy's ear that didn't tell him that it wouldn't be wise to treat women the way that he was treating them that we all see coming out. All the testimonies are coming out, even from other men that were around at that time. It's not just women that's saying this. It's other people in the industry. And as you see how spirit works, he's lost so much. Right? Because... And this is what I try to tell people that's new. See, people think, oh, I'm just trying to rain on people's parades. No, I'm I'm a child of Eshu. And if you know Eshu's role, then you can understand why I'm the way I am. And I'm a stickler in the culture for certain things. I'm trying to protect you from yourself, from doing dumb shit like this. What he did. You don't tattoo down tour on your back, then proceed to beat up women and do the things... <laughs> That you alleged to do. That's not wise. Right. And so, you know, I try to tell people, you know, especially those that were like following Rashad Jamal and stuff like that. Look, you playing with these spirits, these African traditional spirits. It's not like Jesus. It's not like you can pray it off on Sunday and wash it away. No, 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 no. You're going to pay and you're going to learn. That's that's how this works. In, in Diddy's case, the things that he valued the most is what's being stripped from him. His reputation. You see? He's losing sponsors. He's losing um, business deals that he had. Uh, moving forward, nobody's going to want to touch him with business. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's paying out tens of millions of dollars. And... Things that he wanted hidden from the world are being exposed to the world. You see, something, see, people automatically, when they think of the worst things that can happen from spirit, they automatically go to death. No, death is not the worst thing that can happen to most people. Most people have things that they really, really value that they would even risk their life to defend. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Some people would rather go to the grave than for certain things to get out to the world. You know what I'm saying? Or some people would rather go to the grave to protect somebody they love, like their child. You know, person to tell you quick to take them before you take my child. Right. So there's things in the world that people value more than life itself. And spirit knows that, especially when you're dealing with them closely, close enough to tap one on your back. Yeah, Don Tor know what you value, and she'll take that from you. Mm hmm Yes, she will. And so will so many of these other Loa, so many of these other Orisha, and whichever other African traditions that y'all want to dip and dabble into, like these spirits 
don't dish out uh, uh, repercussions for the things that you do when it's violated in the very nature of that spirit. As a child of Eshu, there's certain things that I just don't do. There's other spirits that are in my spiritual core, in my spiritual sphere, a part of my old do. That because of them, there's certain things that I cannot do. I have taboos. You know what I'm saying? Like there's rules to this. You don't just come into these traditions and do what you want. That's not how they work. This is not a free for all. If you want to do free for all stuff, uh, you can join Luciferianism. You can be a Satanist. Those are more of, you know, schools of thoughts where you could just rebel against everything. You know what I'm saying? And you could go do that. You know what I'm saying? It's not a wrong. I know people that are Satanists and Luciferians. They decent people to me. But I don't agree with their lifestyles on not having boundaries and just in uninhibited. Nah, to me, taboos and boundary is important. And they suffer the consequences behind the things that they do. And that's that. So it's like, oh, yeah, that's why I feel that way. <laughs> but that's really what a lot of people coming into the spiritual community today are looking for. They're just looking for a way to do things untouched, to do things without repercussion, to do things without rules, to do things that you just because you want to do it. Yeah, there's something for that. You can go be a Luciferian or a Satanist. Go over there. They Yeah, they'll accept that. Go be a Scientologist or something. They'll accept it. You know what I'm saying? But in the African spiritual traditions, that's not what this is. There's a lot of rules and a lot of boundaries. And they're based on your personal odus and your personal destiny and things that came down with you. That's why you don't see a lot of blanket rules that just blanket everything. Nah, it's things that are specific to this person. This person can't drink gin. That person can't smoke. That person needs to come in at a certain time of night. That's for their destiny. That's for their destiny. You know, and that's and that's the thing that I really learned deeper um, when I came deeper into Orisha tradition, like my great grandmother, you understand? Because I stayed away from Orisha tradition a long time. I just stuck with the Puerto Rican voodoo that I learned, you know what I'm saying? From my grandmother, but that my grandmother is my mother's mother. Now my mother's father, his mother was into Orisha. She was a Santera and so on and so forth. So when I decided to take the walk deeper into Orishas and Odu came into play and all these other things came into play, that's when I understood where I was going wrong in my life and I understood how to fix it. You know what I'm saying? It gave me a remedy. So now I wasn't just being a brujo without rules. Now I'm a brujo that got sense. Now I'm a brujo that understands boundaries and things like that. And it made me stronger. You know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of times y'all thinking I'm trying to rain on parades, but it's really not. I'm really trying to give y'all the game low key. You know what I'm saying? So you don't end up like a Rashad Jamal. So you don't end up losing everything like a Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Everything you value. Because that man value his reputation a lot. That's his, He loved that thing more than anything. And that down. You feel me? Yeah, they, yeah, they wiped his nose with it. You know what I'm saying? Esley down tour on him. You know what I'm saying? Esley down tour on him like that. You feel me? And, you know, that's what it is. But, yeah, family, just know this is nothing to play with because it's real. <laughs>